Welcome to season two of one of your favorites, Film Room presented by Chick-fil-A. I'm Sammy Kincaid, and today I'm joined by assistant head coach and secondary coach Willie Martinez and tight ends coach John Cooper. Welcome, you guys. Thank you. Season's almost here. Are you excited to go over some film and get absolutely. everyone ready for the yeah, season? Yes. <laughs> All right, well, everyone's really excited about this offense, so let's start with you. Sure. Can you tell us what the offense is preparing for? Uh, you know, they do a great job defensively. Um, they mix up their coverages. They have a very extensive blitz package, third downs. They get into different personnel groupings and really try to get after the passer. Uh, biggest thing they're trying to do is create negative plays and then surprise you with drop eight, nine guys into coverage and making sure if you're trying to pick them apart, they've got enough guys in coverage. All right, you want to jump into the film sure. and kind of show us what you've been looking at? Absolutely. Uh, what's a little bit different when you watch UConn on tape is they traditionally play a three-man front, um, and it's just a little bit different in the back end. As you see here, they're doing a good job getting after the quarterback with only four rushers, twist games, making, again, the guy from that school over in Tampa does a pretty good job of getting away from stuff. But when you watch the coverage, they keep with it. It's really easy. You could ask Coach Martinez when th these guys start running to lose coverage, lose track of their guys, scramble drill. We get on our guys to keep plays alive. But they keep tight coverage throughout the play and, again, makes a play on the ball, uh, big-time turnover, turnover there. Again, you can see up front, four-man rush, getting after the quarterback. Uh, it's really close, more of a coverage scramble than it is um, – a pass rush, but they do a good job of keeping him on the move and they keep tight, tight coverage down the field. Next play, as I talked about, they've got a good blitz package where they're coming from all angles. Here's the 3-3 three, three stack that I talked about originally where they've got the stack linebackers in the core trying to outnumber you in the run game. And you, you never know which side it's coming from because it's a balanced defense. Doing a good job here of taking away the screen by staying home, staying not just rushing the quarterback, but keep getting in those pass lanes. As you see here, again, just disrupting and these guys getting after the passer, making them pay for it if, they don't, uh, if they're not on time. Damian Beavers does a great job, one of their elite pass rushers. Uh, then over here, Tyler Coyle, he's, he's playing nickel. He's, he's one of their safeties, does a great job in coverage as well. Again, they're very exotic in what they do, blitz-wise, trying to get after the passer and create negative plays, keeping you off schedule on offense because if you're in long yardage situations, it really makes you one-dimensional. Again, they were pretty, pretty good on offense last year down in Tampa, doing a good job of pursuing the ball and getting a tackle for loss, again, in positive territory for the offense. And you're talking about safety. Maybe Coach Martinez's defense has maybe helped prepare you for some of that? Uh, absolutely. We get the best looks every single day in practice. Those guys fly around the field and, and chase the ball all day long. All right. Coach, you want to go over some of the defensive? Yeah. What is that what you've been looking at? Absolutely. Um, it all starts with Pendle at quarterback. And you can see right here a, a, a night defense that's very athletic. They can run and stuff, and he, he, he can make you look silly. All right, obviously, uh, uh, you know, with missed tackles and stuff like that. And, and uh, we've got to do a great job of eye discipline. We've been talking about it all uh, we talk about that on defense every every day, but uh, when you got a quarterback like KZ, like Pendle, that that do a great job of of creating on a run when the when the uh, when they elude the uh, pass rush, you know you got to keep your eyes on your keys, keep your eyes on your man. When you're coaching defense or playing on defense, uh, when you have a hat for a hat and that guy makes you miss, it becomes a concern for us. So we might have to give extra help. Uh, uh, to whoever might have the quarterback on that on that scheme. Now, one thing about you, you know, UConn is that we talked about trick plays. You got to do a great job with eye discipline uh, because they like to they like to run trick plays. And 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 here's a here's a here's a great example of that. You got the jet sweep going right here, and obviously you got the reverse pass off of it. Having an idea, the quarterbacks over here, you know, everybody making sure they know where everybody lines up. Okay, here's Hergy, their number one guy. Okay, number one. Okay, the best receiver trying to get the, the playmaker the ball here. Okay, there's the quarterback. And then obviously, you know, again, you can see on defense here, you know, not to, I, I don't know, you know, I'm not going to sit there and say, you know, what this defense is doing here, but obviously 28 is supposed to be, okay, deep here. He's got bad eyes. Okay, so obviously when you got bad eyes, you're going to pay the price and you're, and you're going to look, you know, it's not going to look good for you. Okay, so we've got to get prepared for the trick plays, um, you know, that, that they were running last year. And uh, that's not going to change, you know, because we've seen the offensive coordinator, the offensive coordinator, he did it in the last previous spot that he was, um, you know, running the offense. And there's a lot of similarities um, in the offense. Uh, kid's a really good player. He's somebody that we have to be aware of on every single play. Um, they're trying to isolate you one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, he's a, he's a big-time playmaker. This is what we have done all summer. You know, we've, 
this is this is the offensive coordinator when he was at the University of Maryland three Makes years a lot ago. More sense now while we're looking at Maryland. Yeah, we, we go back. You know, Coach Etzel was there. He was with Coach Etzel. He's he's had a track record, and that's how we are as coaches. You got to go back, track the history, and see if if it if it uh, matches up. If there's some kind of similarities, and and it'll show up. It'll show up because uh, you can see on this particular play here, it's a three by one. Said they come back here and get max protection with the tight end. Okay, so it's just a three-man route. And what they like to do, UConn, even last year, they like to chunk play, so like take, the, take the shots down the field, okay, off of play action with all the motions and the shifts that they create, okay, is to see how disciplined you are with your eyes. Here's, here's a situation where actually the safety, you know, they're playing some form of quarter coverage here, uh, you know, and, and really they have a hat for a hat, but here's an athletic kid. And uh, we just see that being – Number one, you know, get gets isolation on somebody, even though they might know who the what the coverage is and stuff like that, and try try and create a mismatch uh, on a player, you know. So that's very similar to some of the stuff they've been doing. And then, you know, looking at this here, we we think, okay, well, if Pendle's a really good athlete, which he is, and uh, when you're when you're given some kind of man, okay, man pressure, uh, uh, whatever, it could be a blitz or some kind of rotation on defense, okay, well then get your athlete. Okay, isolated, one on one, whoever has it, and then obviously create some confusion. Okay, because communication is going to really be key for us. UConn doesn't run a bunch of speed option. Okay, but it's something that you option. Anytime you play option, a lot of offense philosophy wise, they're, they're playing a lot of man. They would like to run. This is a very good play against man coverage. Um, you know, so uh, this is a great, uh, you know, great look as possible something they might do. And, uh, and that's the toughest thing for first game. Everybody's going to be excited, uh, but, you know, to play the game, both offense, defense, special teams. But you really got to be disciplined on defense because you don't really know what you're going to get. It's going to be a challenge for us, but we're looking forward to it. You said everyone's really excited with the start of the season. What do you think fans can be most excited for as the season's about to start tomorrow? Well, I'll let Coop start. You know, I think it's just the anticipation. With such a great season last year, the anticipation of so many guys coming back. Um, I know how we are as coaches. You go through a whole off season. Um, you keep practicing against yourself, and uh, you keep seeing the same defense and competing against them, and it's great, but you really just want to play somebody in a different color jersey. So that's really what I'm excited about, and I know our fans, they've been awesome through Fan Fest and everything. It's been really great to see their anticipation, and now they're actually going to get to see it pay off in 2018. Well, I'm really excited for you guys to get out there and watch you. Good luck tomorrow and go Knights. Charge on.